everyone. This is TCB ASMR here. In this video, I'll be discussing the qualifying round that happened yesterday of uh, the Miami Grand Prix, the 2023 Miami Grand Prix, and the race, which just finished up, I want to say maybe like six hours ago. So, you know, definitely some drama in this one, but. First, we'll go over the qualifying round, which was very good for Sergio or Chuco Perez, who finished at pole position in first. Um, he, set the, I think he set the fastest laps in this one as well. But um, yeah, good qualifying day for him. Alonso came in second. Sainz came in third. For Ferrari, of course, Magnussen in fourth. Gasly in 5th, Russell in 6th, Charles Leclerc in 7th, uh, had a lot, some drama there, Leclerc spun out and hit the side of the wall, um, so not great there, he did end up finishing, but fortunately because of it, Verstappen and Botas were not able to finish, and then um, Albon, Hulkenberg, uh, Hamilton, on you, DeVries, I think they all got eliminated on uh, the second round of qualifying, um, and Norris, Sonda, Stroll, Piastri, and Sargent all got eliminated in the first round of qualifying, so, uh, yeah, a little bit of drama there with Ferrari, as there usually is, um, but anyways, uh, so this was the starting grid everybody's spot, so Verstappen came in to the race today in ninth, and I'm sure, as many of you know, uh, he ended up coming in first and winning the 2023 Miami Grand Prix. Um, so he earns 26 points, got the extra point from the fastest lap, which we can see here when uh, Verstappen Alonso, Perez, Hamilton, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Russell, Sonda, Ocon, and then Sainz, and his Ferrari partner, Charles Leclerc, in 11th. Um, can look at a little bit at the pit stop summary. Uh, time of the day went to Logan Sargent in the second lap, but he finished really poorly, so doesn't even really matter. I think he finished last. Yeah, he did finish last for Williams. Um, him and Piastri both got a plus one lap. Um, DeVries for Alfa Tari barely, or not barely, but just came in 18th. Lando Norris, not his best day. He came in 17th. Guan Yu came in 16th. Hulkenberg 15th. Albon in 14th. And a pretty rough day for Bottas. As in qualifying, he finished. Uh, where did he finish in qualifying? Pretty sure he finished. Yeah, he, or he finished in tenth in qualifying and um, came out in where in thirteenth. So he dropped three spots. Stroll went up a couple spots, I believe. Um, Magnussen, he is the final point winner um, in this race. So of course, everyone below tenth doesn't get any points. Ocon for our Alpine, Alpina, and Gasly, uh, two right back to back, only three sep three seconds separating them. They accumulate six points in this race for Alpine or Alpina. Again, I I don't know how to say it. Uh, I got I gotta figure out how to say it or look it up. Whatever. Um, pretty disappointing race for Charles Leclerc, especially for how talented he is. He finishes in the same spot he started at. Um, Lewis Hamilton actually jumped him. Um, I mean, Lewis Hamilton probably got second best driver of the day, I would say, behind uh, Verstappen. Um, if we look back in the qualifying, Lewis Hamilton started in 13th and jumped all the way up to 6th. Leclerc was in 7th. He stayed in 7th. Uh, of course, Verstappen went all the way from 9th to 1st, but yeah, very good day for Lewis Hamilton. Um, and then right above him is Carlos Sanz. Uh, pretty decent day for him as well. He gets 10 points. George Russell had a pretty 
solid day as well. Whole 11 seconds above Sainz. He gets 12 points for Mercedes. I believe he started out in sixth after qualifying, and then Alonso finishes third on is that podium. A little bit new to F F1, but I think that's podium. Um, Sergio Perez, he finishes second after finishing in pole position during qualifying. So he did give up his number one spot to Verstappen. A um, little bit of controversy there because the two drivers were using different uh, strategies, which you, I don't think you see too very often. Um, yeah, Max Verstappen went the first 40 laps, I want to say, on hard tires um, or H tires. And Perez was on mediums for, I believe, the majority of the race. So Verstappen had much fresher tires once he passed Perez and once he started to really get down there um, in the higher places. So yeah, Verstappen gets 26 points, like I said, for the uh, for the win, for winning the race, for winning the Miami Grand Prix, and for getting the fastest lap. Perez still gets 18 points, but uh, I'm sure he would have liked to have won this one, especially considering he finished in pole position uh, after qualifying. So we'll just shortly look at the driver standings um, right now. Verstappen and Perez, both Red Bull drivers, are pretty much dominating everyone else. They sit at 119 for Verstappen, and Perez sits at 105. Fernando Alonso is at 75. Hamilton at 56, and Sainz at 44. Russell at 40. Leclerc at 34. Stroll at 27. Lando Norris at 10. And Gasly at 8. So yeah, everybody else down here is pretty much screwed. De Vries and Sargent haven't even picked up a point this year. So not looking good for them. Uh, for the constructors, um, Red Bull, of course, uh, is far and away this season. 122 points ahead of Aston Martin. Um, and then Mercedes is six points behind Aston Martin Ferrari. It's at 78, 18 points behind Mercedes, and McLaren is tied with Alpina um, at 14. So it's pretty much just been all Red Bull this season. But, uh, yeah, that was the 2023 Miami Grand Prix all said and done. Let me know what you thought about today's, or yeah, today's race and the 2023 Miami Grand Prix. If you have any opinions about it, let me know. What did you think of Verstappen's great performance today? Um, him going from ninth to first uh, to winning the race. thought it was pretty cool, not going to lie. Um, I did watch some of it. Of course, F1 can be a bit boring at times, but uh, I did watch some of it when he was overtaking everyone. So it's pretty cool to watch, but as always, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and it is very much appreciated if you do. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.